Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go to branch and bound search or uniform cost search, guys. From the name itself, we can say it is going to give you the least cost path, basically. Okay. So the uniform cost search can be used if the cost of traveling from one node to another node is available. So basically, it should be given as a weighted graph, guys. I told I hope everyone knows weighted graph. It will be in this way. We will be having the values here. Fine. Okay. So uniformly the co uniform cost search can be used if the cost of the traveling from one node to another node is available only if it is available it will be used guys okay so uniform cost search always expands the lowest cost node to another is available okay so the first solution is guaranteed to the cheapest one because of the cheaper ones are selected in the earlier stages so if there are multiple nodes as goal nodes so it finds the nearest and the cheapest path in which we can, it can be reached to the goal node so in that way we will be finding the goal node in uniform cost search guys so the main advantage is that it's going to give you the optimal solution guys so it is an optimal optimal because at every stage the path which low cost is chosen so basically lowest cost paths will be chosen so it does not care about the number of steps so if it is getting the least cost in one particular path it goes like that only it doesn't care even the solution is right beside it it goes in the least path only so that's the main drawback of this uniform cost search so if we take the small example of this okay so here the if you want to reach to e what will be the solutions guys a to b b to e a to c c to e a to d d to e so but even we are having this many solutions so if you write all the solution possibilities so a to b b to e like this you got 9 11 12 so according to our assumptions a to c c to e so the middle one will be the best right but our uniform cost search will start at A, it stands there and it checks which is the cheap, 2 is cheap. So I will reject these both and I directly goes to this. So after that from B it is having a E, the only option is 9 so it goes here. So this will be accepted guys. So this is the path that we will be getting from the uniform cost search. Whereas this is the least. So we can say that it is not going to give you the least path. It gives you the least way in which you can go. Like least to least, least to least, least to least, but that may be really greater. So let us assume it is 119. So it takes, it will be the maximum guys. So like that, this is the main advantage of this. So I hope everyone got a small idea. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through hill climb test guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.